Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a long time since I've uploaded videos kind of regularly. Um, I've had a lot of things going on in um, just in my life um, from figuring out you know new doctors to um, just school and I had an ultrasound done on my neck to check my thyroid I was having a little bit of um, some health problems but everything is well and all is well and I honestly have been thinking about doing this for a long time and I'm pretty quiet, reserved, and not um, very, how do you say it? I'm pretty reserved, I'm pretty quiet, I guess that's how you would say it. But I have had this on my heart for some time now, and honestly, I'm not the type of person who would have just started a YouTube channel and showed people my life and a glimpse into uh, my personal life. I'm very, per uh, very private. I'm a very private person. So when I started the YouTube channel, I know I wanted to help other women who was who were going through what I had gone through with having a premature baby and having another baby or pregnancy after having had a preemie. And um, from there, it just kind of. I really enjoyed sharing just kind of day to day on what we do and and the family and it was a nice way that my family could um, come on to YouTube and see the kids and I had no idea that we would be living in Arkansas and away from family now and so this has been really a way that our family can um, see how the kids are doing and everything and also you guys can see um, how we're doing and I have built a few friendships um, over YouTube and I'm so grateful for that um, but I feel like God has been stirring something on the inside of me for some time now um, for years I would say and you know, I started realizing we're so willing to share our lives on social media, be it, you know, Facebook or um, Instagram or all of those. You're so willing to share just these little glimpses into your life. And, and I'm saying this with a conviction in my own personal heart, not saying that you have to be convicted of it. But I started thinking, you know, Lord, I am a Christian woman. I, you know, I, here I have this faith and that I know that, you know, I know the truth. And here I am not sharing it. And I have this platform with YouTube that I'm able to share and to share to people that I may never meet. Um, I may never meet you in person, you know, I'm just a girl living in Arkansas now and I don't travel the world, we, you know, we travel local and, and I may never meet you. And I also started praying this morning and I thought maybe somebody might not ever meet you and tell you about God because what are the odds of walking around in a store like Walmart or, or Target or somewhere and let's just think like what are the odds of somebody coming up to you and sharing you sharing with you Jesus what are the odds of that a lot of people a lot of Christians are very shy and timid and they don't share about Christ and they don't share their faith with people. I started thinking, Lord, I want to be bold and courageous and I want to share Christ with others and I want to share salvation. Like, 
I just want to share. I just want to share it with everybody. And I figured, you know, I share our lives. I share our kids and I share, you know, how, what are we like to do and everything. But the most important thing that I feel like I could share with you guys is the word of God. And I don't mean my opinions. I don't mean, you know, my interpretation of what I believe the scripture is saying. I just want to share scripture with you. And I just want to let scripture uplift you. Not anything that I could say, but just the word of God. Because in all reality, I, you know, we scroll across YouTube and there is nothing wrong with you know, cleaning channels or motivation videos. There is nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we do need that motivation to say, hey, like, I can do it too. Let's go, let's go. Or, you know, let's, as a stay-at-home mom, let's get our house clean. Or as, you know, a person in a workplace, like, motivation. Let's keep working to meet our next goals. I, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not what I'm saying. But in our Christian life, in our Christian walk with God, let God's word ultimately be the motivator for your life. I have stepped away from, you know, putting God first. I'm not going to lie. I've, you know, let other things motivate me, and ultimately it just doesn't work. And so, I always find myself being drawn back to the Word of God and the words on the page in my Bible, the words that I'm reading, they just come to life and there's nothing like being motivated by God and being ready to go just live a life, a Christ-like life to show the love of God to everybody else. And so, honestly, I just really want to start making a little bit of more videos on my channel that are just going to be the Word of God. And this might not be your thing. This might not be your faith that you believe in. But I challenge you to be open-minded and just to listen. Listen to what the Word of God says listen to what it says and don't let me change your mind about anything but let let your hearts be open and let it speak to you so this is something completely different but I feel like God has been speaking to me whatever you do do it like you're doing it for me and Stress in life has come so much, and it's it, it can be debilitating. It can be um, get you not motivated and just tired. And so I have decided, I've heard it all growing up. I'm a pastor's granddaughter. I was a pastor's daughter. I've been in church my whole life. And so I've heard it said, do your work like you're doing it for God. And I've heard it said, but it never really has sunken in to my life. I mean, I look around, I'm sitting in my, my dining room, and, you know, the realities of it, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I do laundry every day. I clean dishes every day. I change diapers every day. I am constantly cleaning. But I... I can honestly say in my heart that I never really did it like I was doing it for God. Like, I was doing dishes that, you know, I'm obviously I'm washing dishes so we can, you know, eat another meal when have plates. But I never really did it with a thankful heart knowing that the only reason why I have these dishes is because God has allowed us to. You know, God has blessed my husband to be able to go to work and to help 
us with having the financial means to even have dishes or even have towels or even have a place to live. God ultimately is the one to thank because in all reality, I didn't wake myself up this morning. My husband can't wake himself up in the morning. He doesn't keep his body going. God does. God has sustained us and has blessed us with the abilities to be able to do things that have gotten us this far. You know, everybody's in different walks in their life, but everybody has something to be thankful for. And so this morning, I just wanted to read scripture to you, and I'm going to read in Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, starting in verse 12, and I just want it to you, and it motivates you, and it uplifts you, because let's Let's be honest, the last couple of years have been a whirlwind of things, and I know a lot of people have gone through a lot of different things, and it's easy to get distracted, and right now, it's it's not the time to be distracted, and so I feel like God is just calling us to remember where we came from and remember who He is, and so I'm going to read from Colossians 3 starting verse 12. So let's go for it. So in my Bible, Colossians 3.12, the um, kind of like the title of the chapter um, is character of a new man. And so I just am going to go ahead and go for it. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Now, I'm going to keep going. The title of this next section in Colossians 3 is, at least in my Bible, says the Christian home. Wives, submit to your own husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter toward them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Father, do, fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Bond servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as man-pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality. Well, I just want to encourage you today to dwell on that, that whatever you do today, it, whether you're at work, whether you're with your children, whether you're cleaning house, whether you're traveling, anything that you're doing today, I encourage you to do it like you're doing it for the Lord. I appreciate you being here. I just want to pray over you today. Father God, I ask you, Lord, that whoever's watching this video that's listening to your words, Lord, your heart, Lord, the word of God, Lord, I ask that you give them courage and the strength and the wisdom to go about their days in, in whatever obstacles that come across their paths, Lord God. I ask that you guide them, Father. And Lord, help us to remember you today. Remember that you have blessed us with everything that we have, Lord. That it's not our own doing, Father, but it, that it's yours. Because ultimately, Lord, you have sustained us this far. 
And Father God, I ask, Lord, that you help us to do our daily task, Lord. Help us to do it like we're doing it for you, Father. And I thank you, Lord, that you have always been there for us. Whether we've seen you or not, Father, you have always been there for us. And I thank you for guiding us. I thank you for keeping us. And I ask that you put your angels around about us to protect us and our families, Father, wherever we may go. And I thank you, Father, for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen.